Hello friends, this is size 12 long shank hook and thread I'm using Rusty Brown 8 -O. I'll explain all the materials. So just start below the eye using touch and turn. Basically I use this pattern for still water fishing. And you can add weight in this and, and if you want to do river fishing it works in both fine you know uh, for a river and still water so just use touch and turn all the way to the and bend. for the tail I'm using this is a pheasant tail so if you level these tips for the tail use about seven eight five or if you want to use less it's entirely up to you and just a little bit smaller than a body length it's a little bit long so I'm going to pull this okay and just secure this all the way because like I said we need to work with the body so I'm going to cut these off and then going back towards tail unwind your thread Keep going. And body I'm using this is a stretchy elastic 0 0.8 millimeter in brown color. So if you melt one side and press it, give a little stretch as you can see it thins it down. Just a nice catching point. So I'm going to just gonna come back up towards the head again because I need a nice shape so if you work with the body and just catch that in the middle secure this properly all the way to the tail and come back just work with the body it's just uh, brings out a nice tapered shape so now bring this along give it a stretch as you can see it's bringing a nice color making it now here I need to work a little bit more for the body because the shape has to be nice so if you think it's not even so just work with the thread and level that up and then keep going then catch it here leave enough space for the head you know because we need a nice thorax here so secure this properly make sure if you do that on top of the hook so it'll be all right and still cut this off very close oops and if you think the thread is split just catch it quickly now I need a nice head here so and same again I'm using for the legs uh, thorax so I need a decent amount actually 
again level these tips and make sure you turn them around and just catch them on the top couple of turns make sure they're sitting equally all this so we have a nice size legs sometimes they're not equal so you can use tweezer to pull some of them fiber out just to have an the same size of legs you know and make sure they're sitting on top so I'm just gonna kind of use the brush to release them and make sure they're sitting nicely on the top okay very easy like you know and I'm going to put hot orange so this is an ostrich hull I've just used three three strands so just cut them on the top and I'm just just uh, extra security spin them around the thread few time and stroke them so you release all the fibers and then kind of use okay and that should be enough secure them and cut these off from very close <coughs> Now here you have to spread these legs equally on either side. Okay. And just stroke them backward. Bring this forward the thorax and catch it cut this very close again using the lighter and build up a nice shiny head and we will call this a wig finish okay. <clears throat> just a hot spot it's really good name for actually if you're fishing in a large water or a river you can use a I would say if you leave the leg long enough legs so you can catch a nice fish brown trout goes for as well add some weight if you're fishing in the river final finally you need to put some varnish on the head So they have another one of my favorite pattern. It's a clear, it's a stretchy elastic pheasant tail with the orange hot spot. Great pattern for a large still water or if you're fishing in the river, add some weight on. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.